All right. Hello. My name is Rob. Welcome to the Daily Crawl, guys. It's been a minute. Uh, yeah. Happy New Year, huh? Holy cow. I've uh, been, uh, been busy. Been tinkering. Busy with life stuff more than anything. Holidays, family, whatnot. But uh, I've got some new stuff. And I've made some changes to some existing rigs. I'll go ahead and go over. Uh, there's my cheat code back there. Gosh, what an incredible rig, you know. Uh, just been kind of hanging out, really. I mean, shoot, you know. Winter's upon us. Damn shop yard. Oh, it's been snowy. Anyways, um, I've got some new things coming up. If you guys uh, interested in uh, finding out what I'll be up to, um, just uh, hang out, man. I'm just going to kind of go over some things. Um, got... Uh, this I got the copper U Rock buggy from Acres Engineering. There isn't a whole lot on the internet about this thing. So I'll do my best to kind of maybe go over how I built it or you know, I mean these videos are just kind of show anybody what I've been building or if you have any questions, you just hit me up. I'll try to answer them the best I can, but um, I'm very excited about this one. Actually, this is going to be pretty rad. I've got the uh, incandescent windshield and back glass for the U-Rock buggy. Comes with a variety of stickers for your decals, and I will use these stickers. I uh, am ordering the longer stickers, I should have. I've been patiently waiting for more parts for this. Seems like months. I mean, I, I can't even explain it. Maybe he stopped making more stuff for this. I don't know, it just seems, all I want is the the longer carbon fiber and then I just yeah it's been so difficult every I check it almost every day and it's never in stock so I don't know I might have to just live with what I got here but I I would really like the longer one and then I wasn't aware but you gotta glue your panels on which, you know, is what it is, but I wish there was a way that you didn't have to glue all this stuff on. And then I got the motor cut out. And I just had a thought about that. It's kind of got me sketched out a bit, but I'm going to just set this camera up here. See if I can't... Uh, There we go. Go over some stuff. What I got for this new build. What I've got for existing builds. So the U-Rock. Um, I think I'm going to go with the slow motion pancake. And I just got a set of the uh, MoFo long travel shocks. He's doing them in orange now. I wasn't going to buy them, but since I have the motor, I was like, oh, you know what? That'll look pretty cool together with something. And then, holy heck, you know, it might end up looking really sharp together. And then I'm going to need to find some axles and some wheels to go with those. Um, if you're on the Acres Engineering site, 
Um, if you buy his re his shock relocation tabs, um, they only they come in a pack of two, not four. So I have to order some more. Um, I finally got uh, my Galaxy batteries. Took about a month for these guys to show up. Maybe they're better and restock now, but I ordered two of them, patiently waiting. Ooh, here's a good comparison here. So this is a 3S LiPo here. It is um, a 250 and it's a 35C, 70C burst. And then I have um, the MoFo 3S battery. Let's see if you can see the size difference there. The MoFo one's darn near the same size all the way around. Whereas this one's skinnier right through there than it is there. So I'm gonna use these batteries for this Acres chassis. I have my cheat code pretty well set up. I keep fidgeting with it. Since I've got Velcro on, you know, I can move things around. And I've darn near thought about that with a battery over there or something. I don't really know yet. This is balanced pretty well. I don't mind the way this looks set up all right. But um, my original SCX24, my first one, if you're new to the channel, um, I don't buy the RTRs. I, uh, I buy parts and build them straight up. This is actually the only RTR that um, I've bought. And we've pretty well switched all the parts on this guy. And this has changed a little bit. Still rocking a Reefs 99, big brass diff cover, the portal axles, still running, still working pretty well. Um, I've got a big MoFo battery up here, I think it's 600 milliamp. But the newest components on here is I burned up the uh, Torque Beast. I mean, it's a 600 gram Bronco and that Torque Beast just didn't last. I mean, it worked until it didn't. Um, you definitely want to rig probably, you know, nothing over 400 grams if you're going to run a uh, 050 motor. Um, I've actually been on Facebook a few times checking out what people are doing. There's a lot on those forums there. And, uh, People throw in them 050s and a lot of things, but I would not uh, recommend an 050 of any 50 um, in a heavy rig. It's just not going to last. So I have put in the 130 sized um, PN90 T, the PN Racing motor there. And I got the mount and I flipped the skid. And I pointed it backwards. Well, I think I flipped the skid. Maybe I didn't. I can't remember. Yeah, I might have. I think I did. I think I had to flip it. Yep. Um, anyways, I still got some wire management to do here. But um, I had to eliminate the interior. Which kind of sucks. Because I had this uh, scythe frame rail. And it's sitting pretty well, and I was able to keep the interior in with that 050 motor. 
But since uh, everything's changed, uh, I've had to uh, relocate the battery up front, the ESCs to sit up here, because I just didn't have enough room anymore for the battery back there. So um, I kind of made a uh, little front battery tray right there. I just used a uh, one of those mofo plates that he sells and uh, stuck it there with some Velcro and boom, holds the battery right up front. Works pretty well. Um, just Velcro down the ESC, which I might switch to um, a Lizard Pro and do the whole avatar thing. Although this is the one my kids use, I don't really care that much, but I would switch to all that just to put the interior back in. Um, so I might, we'll see how that goes. I might be buying a couple Lizard Pros. I've always been a uh, Tegu mainboard. I got a lot of Tegu mainboards. I, I like them, especially the new ones that come with the receiver. Boy, those are, those are pretty nice. That's what I got in the old cheat code there. But anyways, I got some really cool stuff from, um, uh, what is it, CCXRC. Um, I actually haven't even opened this up yet, so let's go ahead and get this open. Oh, cool, some stickers, right on. But yeah, look at this. This is his, uh, the baby hippo. No coating, just brass. That is gonna be fantastic. And these are going on the micro shark. I'm gonna start disassembling this to really give it a new um, overhaul. Not that it's in rough shape or anything, but is she gonna get pimped out again? I mean, I pimped this out. This was the first rig I built. Built her from scratch. Bought all the parts. I'm gonna go with a uh, RC Addiction steering linkage up front to match uh, the, the links he did for me here at the bottom. That way it's all matching with the brass axles up front, man. That's going to be rad. And in the rear with the original MoFo portals on here. And I have these new hard park wheels. If you can see them suckers, those are sharp. And what they do is they tuck a portal really well. See, I can't even see the portal. It's gonna be rad. And then to, to go to that, because I'm gonna be adding a lot of weight in that rear axle, since it'll be a brass, um, I went ahead and got myself number 56. Awesome. These would be some sort of collector's item is my guess. Almost scared to run it, you know, $100 servo. But gosh, it's going to look real good. It's going to look really, really good in here. Take over that reef's position. Be a brass servo. I've got the mofo servo mount brass servo mount i almost wish there was no coating on this servo mount i might have to figure out how to polish that coating off or gosh maybe he's got a uh, demo one that he's had that doesn't have coating who knows It'd be rad to have one that doesn't have coating to match the servo and then the no coating axles it's gonna be pretty sweet. But I bought the relocation tabs here 
shocks because I have his flex blades, which is basically what these are. I got them because they're, they're brass, no coating. Because uh, the MoFo flex blades that I have on here are black. And it might not look bad with the black flex blades and then the black servo tray. Because I've got the, the black rod ends here. You know, it'll probably all work out. Um, I've still got the uh, Komodo in there. Which I might be completely changing that aspect of it. Thinking about getting a new interior from Shapeways for it. Since I had to cut up this interior so much here. If you can see in there just to get the uh, Komodo motor to fit. But gosh, it, it looks so awesome. I just wish it wasn't red. Still bugs me. I mean, it doesn't look awful in there, but I really wish it was like all black or something. I do. So, that leads me to, might go with uh, another Nano Beast. And I've got his uh, forward-facing mount. And I have a flipped skid already for the rear facing Komodo. So forward facing mount, flip the skid, face it backwards, just cause I, I don't know, I like the setup of this with them forward facing mounts. And then um, put a brass transmission in it, similar to what I have. In here, if I remove the battery, get a good look. There it is up there. Although I do miss the 050 just because you get such an awesome brass. Where are they? I've got a bunch of parts and eh, it's gonna take me forever to find it. But you get, uh, you know, your spur gear cover and that's pretty rad because it's solid brass and looks really good. So I'll probably brass out the transmission and then go with a uh, Nano Beast in there changed up the interior paint scheme will stay the same but uh just get rid of the red that's in there and i've got these comp pin tires i really like them on the cheat code there so the acres you rock is going to end up with these guys so that's exciting and then you, you can't get his brass axles without getting the rear truss in brass as well. So all that's going to really tie together. It won't be silver back there. Brass, oh man, it's going to look awesome. It's just going to end up looking so sharp. I might uh, repaint the panels. I might take the whole cage off and repaint the cage even just to freshen it all back up because it'll more than likely be a shelf queen now. I mean, it is a fairly valuable little tiny RC car that has tumbled and tumbled down the rocks lots of times, but they all have. I utilize all these and I'm excited to build this sucker. I just, gosh, you gotta glue on all the stuff. That's the only downfall. I was kind of bummed out when I found that out. So if you're gonna build one of these acres, I mean, there's the top. He sells this in carbon fiber too, and I just, gosh, I hope he's still making it. Cause I've been checking, checking, checking 
and uh, man, it's always sold out unless there's a lot of these out there. But there isn't very many of them on the internet, especially not even on YouTube. I mean, there's some run footage, but nobody ever breaks down what they've, uh, what kind of shocks they've put on them or, you know, any of that kind of thing. So I'm going to try and do that along the way. Probably take me a few weeks or so to keep assembling parts and whatnot, but it's going to look pretty rad, you know, especially this, uh, this incandescent windshield. I mean, that red look there, I'm gonna go with the uh, the red, orange, yellow. Oh man, I, I it's gonna look sharp. It's gonna look really cool. And that's what I got going for the future. I need to find a nice set of wheels. Um, I've been looking a trail make some wheels and it seems like everybody's modeling their uh what you might call it you know their rings around the trail stuff i've got a ton of mofo wheels so I, I might even go mofo again i don't know but um i've got um uh, cvds up the yin yang i bought a bunch just so i could have them because, I mean, these parts are so small, they do break. But, uh, so I've got the full girth, plus fours. If I'm going to go wide, I don't know. I, I don't really want to go wide. So I also have the uh, stock length for the rear axle. And then um, inside of here are the uh, Mofo uh, brass um, bushings that I have inside the axles here. And those brass bushings, instead of bearings, will, will end up in the brass. So I'll have brass bushings with a brass axle. And then the brass portal boxes with his knuckles. It's all just gonna come together and look awesome. So that's, that's, what I got going on. So I got a few projects. It's going to be pretty awesome. Oh yeah. I even picked up another shift RC servo, man, these things, I just love the artwork on them. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this servo on my acres and my son my youngest son, Oliver, is obsessed with my four-wheel steer Furitech Scythe. He is so much obsessed, he calls it his car. And, it, you know, he drives it. It, it can be his. But um, it's heavy. Weighs an awful lot. I want to make this uh, U-Rock here. A little lighter, you know, I don't want it pushing 600 grams. My Furitech scythe is an all-metal scythe, and it weighs about 577 grams or something like that. So it's pretty heavy. And so what I found in building a four-wheel steer was the rear ends up weighing an awful lot because of the servo and whatnot. And it, it's hard to get that 60-40 weight bias that you're after for performance wise. Um, so it, it's like a 57 degree incline as all the scythe will go up. It'll go down really well and it'll side hill really well, my scythe. But, you know, it's not in the 60s or anything like that when you're climbing. But again, I mean, the scythe is with the four wheel steer It'll still, it'll get places the cheat code won't just because of the steering, you know, four wheel steer. And so the idea with this acres chassis is to get the weight balanced even better. I'm after a, a weight bias similar to the cheat code because this thing, will, this thing's 60 degrees incline is, is pretty well right at its max. I mean, it's, it, this, this cheat code 
and the way it's set up is just incredible. It'll go over a lot of things the scythe struggles to go over with ease. Like this, the cheat code will get over it with ease. The scythe will struggle, but the scythe will get places the cheat code won't just because of the steering aspect of it. So I want to build this acres. I, I really like the no body, not even a hard body or a Lexan body. I, I do dig the little buggy kind of deals. I want to make the acres um, with the performance of the cheat code, if that's even possible, and the performance of the scythe. So I'm really thinking about doing another four-wheel steer because Oliver will love the four-wheel steer and he can then cruise around the new acres when it's all done. So that's the idea. And I still need to pick up some axles and pick up some other things and a transmission and get going on all that. And the skid plate, need all those things. Hey, Ollie, you gonna say hi? Hi. <laughs> a boy, we're building a, a C car for you, bud. Yeah. Yeah. Me build. It's gonna be a boat. It's gonna be awesome, isn't it? No, it's gonna be like a boat. Oh, you think it? He thinks it looks like a boat. It does kind of look like a boat. But once we get wheels and tires on it, it's yeah. gonna be awesome. These things. Yep. We're almost there, bud. No, where's Won't the, be long. Where's the, is that the rainbow horse you are going to be? Yeah, yeah. That's the color it's going to be. The rainbow horse car? Well, we haven't put it together yet. This one will be a C car. I showed can you hold pictures. It? You can, it'll turn into a C car. We just got to put it together. Mm. The camera's over here. There you go. All right, it's showing you. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, um, I got a. These things right, gonna be a RC car. Yep, I got a uh, mod three Mofo transmission gears finally Transforms. for the uh, cheat code. Uh, there's on. a mod five transmission gears in there. I just wanted to get the. Uh, Mod 3 to see if that would uh, smooth things out at super low speeds. Nice. It's not terrible or anything. I mean, I might not, not even. Terrible ending. I might not, not even switch them. Ending. Nope. And then not I picked up more of these. I have a bunch, but if you're building well, see, from scratch, car? these little black spacers are a must, in my opinion. They, yes. I use, I've used them on every build, the black spacers. Every build. Yep. And I got a uh, um, uh, aluminum best servo mount ever made. And so what I'm thinking about is I'm going to have to get a brass one. And I'll go a brass front axle on the acres. And then a plastic front axle for the rear. Plastic front axle. Maybe with the aluminum. I might look up something on Shapeways and maybe go with a 3D printed servo mount just to keep the weight down in the rear because that servo does weigh a lot. So who knows? I might use the aluminum servo mount with the plastic axle and then a brass servo mount with a brass uh, front axle. So that will help the weight bias. But um, I got things to try. And then um, for the tires, you know, uh, here's the uh, Mofo beefier zero millimeter hubs. These things are awesome looking. Can't wait to try these out. Add some weight just to the front and then you can grab his other uh, zero millimeters that are less weight and throw those in your rear tires. And that should all work out pretty well. Now I've painted my mofo hubs that way all you get is just this dark wheel with the scale hub inside that to me 
It's just rad. I really like it. I do. So yeah, that's kind of my update. Oh yeah. Gonna have 50% underdrive in the acres. That's what I got in the uh, cheat code and it is phenomenal. I think that underdrive with the extreme bias of overdriven to the front uh, really helps it turn, helps it climb. It, it helps it quite a bit. My uh, scythe is just 30% overdrive in the front and that's nice, but gosh, when it's 50% underdriven in the, in the rear, it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Works out really well. So I got all this cool stuff and getting ready to, you know, assemble some things, especially on the micro shark, be doing some work to that since I still have to assemble some stuff and purchase some things for the acres. Again, I, I hope he uh, reloads on some of his 3D printed stuff. I mean, I do have the plastic lid. I mean, I guess that wouldn't, that's not so terrible because he does have his sticker pack, you know, I could just put one of these stickers on the lid, I guess that would be all right. But I really want the long setup. So anyways, I mean, that's been my update, you know, uh, been a while, uh, be making some more videos here soon. So, uh, if you made it to the end, you know, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be making more videos and pumping out a couple more of these little builds. So stay tuned. Um, need to build an indoor crawler course, man. I do. I've just been driving over the kids' toys and cruising around the house with them, you know, and that's fun. But got to be neat to build a little, little course since it's so snowy. But video's gotten pretty long, so um, peace. Till the next time.